Well, depending on where you are in the city, up to 10 centimeters of snow is in the forecast tonight. For some, shoveling the snow is fun and good exercise. But for others, it could be a daunting task that could lead to injury if not done correctly. Faiza Amin has tips on the best way to shovel if you don't want to hurt yourself. I came with a shovel because guess what? As we're getting into the winter months, you're going to be using this a lot more now, especially as we have a storm system moving in. So I'm in the distillery district at Elite Care. Emily Care, Georgia's physiotherapist, joining me now. I want to know first how often and what sort of injuries do you see when it comes to people shoveling? The two most common that we see are low back strain and just general injuries from slip and fall accidents. Okay, I'm gonna hand you the shovel. Maybe you could show us what the right way of shoveling snow is. Okay. So there's a few things that you wanna think about when it comes to shoveling snow. Um, first thing that I'll usually tell my patients is the closer you keep the load to you, the easier it's gonna be. So if you're trying to shovel with the load way out here, it's gonna feel a lot harder um, and you're just gonna feel a lot more strain in through your entire body in general. Um, so you wanna try and keep that load nice and close to you and you wanna try and use the strongest parts of your body to do most of the work. Um, so for most people, that's our legs. Um, so you wanna get down nice and low from here. As you lift up, um, you wanna use your legs to initiate that movement. So up and forward. Um, the other thing that you wanna keep in mind too is bracing the core throughout that movement. Um, super, super important. As a wise man once said, you could do it, put your back into it, does not apply in this situation.